My name is um, Uwem Akbanodofi. I'm from Nigeria. Initially, I was diagnosed of uh, DCM, dilated cardiomyopathy. Sometimes in 2017, then we've done series of tests. I never knew I had aortic valve problem. Because then, during further investigation, it was discovered that I need to, the aortic valve replacement needs to be done. So we went to several hospitals in Nigeria. And uh, we were told it could be done, but with the use of blood. We are Jehovah's Witnesses. And from our conviction, from Jehovah's Word, the Bible, we are not supposed to take blood. Now we looked for hospitals all around the world that could offer treatment without the use of blood. We contacted the Christian Congregation now branch in Nigeria. That was the first time we heard of Manipa, Dr. Divinanda the senior consultant assured us that it could be done successfully without the use of blood. Mr. Uwen from uh, Nigeria, who is in his uh, mid-40s, uh, had some difficulty in breathing in last two or three years. He went to a doctor. He was found to have a dilated aortic root with badly leaking aortic valve. Medically, we call it as aneloiotic ectasia. But unfortunately for him, he also belongs to a, a faith called Jehovah faith, where they do not accept any kind of blood or blood products. And he needs a very supra major operation where we have to replace his valve along with his aorta. Uh, somehow they came to know about Manipal. We have some experience of uh, dealing with patients of Jehovah from all age groups from two or three months to almost 60 or 70 years. So when he came here, we evaluated him. Uh, they accepted the whole treatment plan. He underwent the operation where we in, uh, achieved whatever we intended to do, like replacing his valve along with the root of his aorta. It's called Bental operation. He has recovered very well. His hemoglobin at discharge is almost 9 grams. We started off with 13 grams. He has done very well. And we are also very happy that his symptoms are gone now. At least they have come down significantly. We are very sure that his heart strength will also recover over a period of time. And this taking care of this particular sect of patients, such major operations without blood is possible only because we have a system around since we do operations on these kinds of patients and we also want this message also to go to many other patients who probably are denied operations just because we can't use blood and blood products. It was done successfully without the use of blood. Thankfulness also goes to Devinanda and his team who has been so helpful, so nice. They have exhibited professionalism in their, in their uh, job. They've been so good to us and they did it successfully. And here I am, strong and healthy.